Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so what are we doing today? If you guys know me, I actually have this like really small, really really tiny business that I sometimes work on like every few months. And today I want to restock some items. I actually went to a huge art hall not too long ago. So today for the first time in my whole life, I'm thinking of drawing and selling my drawings online. I'm actually really nervous and scared because I've never sold my artworks online before. So yeah, let's see how it goes. But wait, I'm actually finished with everything because I'm taking this intro like at the very end. I had to retake my intro because... Guys, I have 1 million subscribers! Yay! 1 million subscribers! Oh, it's like my dream come true. Like I'm sure there's many more to come, many more videos, many more milestones, but oh my gosh, I'm just so happy and I am very, very grateful. Thank you guys so, so much. And yeah, um, this video has nothing to do with me getting 1 million subscribers because I took this video a few weeks ago. But yeah, hope you guys like it. So let's just jump right in. Drawing for the whole day and selling my artwork. Let's get started. A few weeks ago. Three, four, nine, ten. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is actually for a future project. So today I'm going to be using these illustration boards that I got at the art store. Hopefully it's going to be like really easy to draw on, blend. I've never used it before, so let's see. Before I start drawing, there's something that I really want to try. I don't really want to draw a rough draft onto this paper. You know, all that scratching with pencil, erasing, it's definitely going to mess up the paper and I really don't want that. I want to keep it clean and simple. So that is why I want to see if I can sublimate the line art onto this surface. So let's see if it works. I'm going to put it right in the center and tape it using some heat resistant tape. Put a cooking sheet on top and here we go. Release. Ah, oh, it's so hot. And the reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, it definitely worked, but can you like see all the smudges? Sublimation is definitely not for paper, but I feel like I can make this work. Okay, let me redo this one more time. And release. And the reveal. Three, two, one. So this is the first one and the second one. So, I want to try using this new technique. Today, I'm going to be using some Copic ink refills. They're normally used for like refills, but I kind of want to use it like a watercolor today. And I think we're ready. So, I'm going to start off with her face. I'm going to dab some of this and paint it all over. And blend it out. Dab some of this. And lastly, some blue. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the base is ready. Now it's time to start like filling in the details. So I'm not sure if you were able to see the difference between the line arts because it really wasn't that noticeable through the camera. But there was a big difference. The first one turned out so smudgy, like it looked like I dunked it into oil or something. For the second one, I made the line art really light and sublimated with less time to make it look really soft. And I'm just so glad that it worked out. Next. Since I got so many new ink fillers, I decided to try out this new technique. I'm already having so much fun with all my new stuff. So I basically made like this base with pink, blue, and a little bit of yellow to give it some color. Alcohol ink, unlike watercolor, gets absorbed super fast and dried so quick. So I found out that this is a little bit hard to blend it in. And yeah, I think I need a little bit more practice, but I think it turned out really pretty. For the final touches, I filled up the background with Posca paint pen. 
This one, I made it all black. Then outlined it with a gold pen and went around the edges to add some designs. I also added some dots in the background and at the very, very end, I decided to add my signature with a gold paint pen on the top right. Okay, I don't think you can tell that the line art was all smudged and stuff. So now that I know that it works, let's move on to the other drawings. I'm going to sublimate all the line art at once because it takes a while to print it out and heat up the Cricut machine. And this is how it turned out. I think I mastered the sublimation process. Like first it got all smudgy and stuff. Like can you see it? But then I decided to change the settings and voila. No smudge and the lines are like perfect. So obviously I'm not done. Let's start coloring them in. Which one should I start with? Hmm. Maybe her. Let's start with her. The girls that I'm drawing today are all my original characters that have appeared in my videos before. You might recognize them if you've been following me. And if you can recognize every single girl, well, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. This girl, I think, is from one of my 24 hours drawing challenge, and I used Sakura-chan, the cover girl of a magazine for reference. I just wanted my drawings to represent my channel. I mean, it is my first time selling my artwork, so I wanted the drawings to be something related to my channel. Oh, by the way, this girl does not have a name yet, so I will love to get some ideas. And here's my second drawing. How about Alice in Wonderland? This illustration board that I'm using right now is made for Copic markers and for drawing, so I'm loving how smooth and easy it is to draw on. The thing is, it didn't really blend in as much as I thought it would. Like, can you see her cheeks? It turned out so red. I mean, I guess that looks kind of cute as well, but like normally when I use my own supplies, I use the same colors and they will like blend right in. It kind of disappears. But this one just stayed so prominent, so that's something to keep in mind when using this paper. Not too bad. And now I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to quickly get some food, rest a little bit, play with my puppy, and come back. See you guys later. This is one of my favorite snacks. It's so good. So it has one coat of candy and cocoa powder on top. This is one of my go-to snacks. Lavi mm. wants some. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. Artist problems. Let me quickly put them back. Okay, so before I start drawing again, I wanna try something out. I wanna see if I can sublimate a full illustration onto this surface. So here's my first drawing. I drew this a long time ago. And the reveal. Hmm. Mm. Next, I'm going to try this drawing. And the reveal. Um, no. Um, as you can see, it just doesn't really work. I guess I can't really mass produce my drawings. Okay, I will tell you guys how much I decided to charge my products for along the way somewhere in this video, but I have to say, it was really hard to come up with a price. I feel like however much I make my drawings, it's going to be controversial. I'm going to get a lot of comments saying it's too cheap or too expensive. I'm guessing haters will say that my drawings are too expensive at any price, but I didn't want to make my drawings too cheap. I know that there are 1 million people watching my channel, and I don't want to give people ideas that art could be really cheap. To be honest, a traditional drawing like this could cost up to hundreds of dollars. I'm sure artists will understand, like put your hands up if you've ever gotten asked from a stranger for a free drawing. Some people think art is free, but it's not. But at the same time, I don't want to charge you guys too much. So yeah, I just hope you guys understand that I chose this price with everything in mind. So, since I've been drawing for a while now, I kind of want to take a rest. So here, I have some mini towels. 
These are from Muji, very good quality. And if you've seen my Muji video before, you would know that the sublimation process worked very well with these towels. Here I have my drawings and let's start sublimating. And start. And release. Hot, 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 hot. And the reveal. Ta-da! Ooh, so pretty. I love how saturated it is. And I'm just going to repeat these steps. So this is how it turned out. And I think they're so pretty. I love the colors. I love how clean it looks. And I mean, it's a really nice towel. And what to do next? So next up, I'm going to use my Cricut cutter to customize these tote bags. These are like plastic tote bags in a really nice size. So let me connect this to my computer. Let me choose an image. Perfect. Today, I'm going to be using this blue shiny vinyl. <laughs> I look so weird. Thank you for your work. Now you may go back home. And next up, it's time to weed. It's really easy. All you have to do is take off the parts that you don't need. I need to be really careful to leave the parts that I need. And I'm finally done. Um, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. I kind of messed up a few times. And I feel like I need to repurchase some items like the blade, the mat. Okay, moving on. Next, here I have some transfer tape. And I'm going to transfer it onto the bags. I'm going to rub it on real nice. Peel it off. and stick it on. And there we have it. I think it's a really, really cute bag. I'm going to repeat these steps again. By the way, these vinyl sheets are permanent, but they are like stickers. So if you put in the water or rub it too hard, it may come off. So please be careful. And I am done with my tote bags. Wow, that took like three hours, guys. Well, anyways, let's go back to drawing. So here's a quick sketch. And as always, I'm just going to take a picture, put it into my computer, and use my digital tablet to do the line art. <gasps> I just broke the cord. Oh no. I accidentally pulled it and this part kind of like came off. No. I wonder if I could just like bite the cord. Is that possible? Hmm, what to do? You know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and draw from scratch. So here's the rough draft, and now I'm going to use this putty eraser. I haven't used this in a while. And kind of like roll on top of it. I want to make the lines really, really light. Like it's still there so I can trace it, but it wouldn't be too muddy and all. This is like the only drawing I drew from scratch. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six drawings in total. So here's how they turned out. The bunny girl, Vivi, my maid, a new original character, Alice, 
um, she doesn't really have a name. And last but not least, a schoolgirl. So six drawings in total. Don't worry guys, I've washed my hands and everything is sanitized. And lastly, I want to pack everything up into a box. So I want to make like a mystery box. There's going to be some items that every single box is going to have, like this tote bag and this handkerchief. But I'm also going to throw in some like crafts that I've done before and some random items, but it's going to be a mystery box. So you're not going to know which drawings you're going to get. And ta-da! Here we've got a box. Oh, it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought. So I'm not sure if my tote bag is going to fit. So I've got my boxes ready. I've got my drawings, my tote bags, and oh yes, I can't forget. I'm also going to include some screen tones into this box. Again, it's going to be a mystery. I just really wanted to add these screen tones into the box because I know a lot of people are really interested in this, but they're not really sold outside of Japan. So yeah, I think it's going to be like a fun addition. Let's try making one box together. I'm actually going to add the screen tones inside the bag. You will get one basic screen tone and some random designs. I'm going to put the screen tones inside my tote bag. I'm going to bend the sides. Pack it in. One drawing, which is going to be inside this pink bag. And it's gonna go right here. I'm also going to include this pencil case. And I think this box is full. Cover it up with a tissue paper. One Minori mystery box. So one down, five more boxes to go. Let's get started. So this time I'm going to be selling six boxes. If you guys are interested, I will have the link in my description box below. And the price. I'm going to be selling these boxes for $50. $50 mystery box. If I successfully sell all these boxes, I will make $300. Every single box is different, but every single box is special. So hopefully whoever buys it will really like my box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!